welcome back. Uh, we have found everything we need to find in this house here. And now we've got to head back in our speeder to, I believe it's Chandler Avenue, where we came from. And we need to talk to uh, the guy in the little firehouse barbecue or whatever the heck it is. Because he should have our stick decrypted. So let's go to, ah, here we go, Chan Chandler Avenue. And then once we get done over there, we've got a number of other places that we need to stop I'd at. Better drop by the barbecue joint and see how that dweeb Mojo's doing. Maybe he's decrypted that memory stick. Yeah, about time too. I need a new lead on this case. Okay. Well, it's nice that uh, they said that. Even <laughs> Can we just drop down? We were like in the air, and we just they just after he got done talking, it just dropped us down. Okay. All right. So anything blinking on there? Hmm. No messages on the vid phone. And no faxes either. Okay. I still think it's a hilarious fax machine. Okay. So we gotta stop by Rook's Pawn Shop too, because the one guy, if we look quickly here, uh, this one here, the pawn thing. Looks, Looks like, like Bowers was interested in some Nikola Tesla artifacts from Rook's Pawn Shop. So we're going to have to go into Rook's Pawn Shop and ask some questions. But let's stop in here first to find out what's going on. There's our... whatever he is. So your memory stick's already go. Now, what are you giving me for it? <laughs> How about an autograph? You have the only one. You think I'm going to solve your case for free just because you're my idol? Nah, the great Tex Murphy wouldn't lift a finger without compensation. Neither will I. <laughs> well, I was going to offer you a very special junior detective badge. I don't want some stupid little orphan Annie ring. I want a memento from one of your cases. Something one of a kind. Nobody likes a sucker. You know how your cases always have a hundred loose ends and you need that one missing piece to tie it all together? <laughs> it's not always like that. This could be that one missing piece. Mr. Murphy, you need this. <laughs> Stay for acceptance. Oh. Fine. Name your price. Do you remember that sicko who was going around with a liquid nitrogen freeze gun, shooting people and then smashing them? The press called him the Nitro Stalker. You got involved and the cops finally found him a few weeks later. Smashed into a million pieces. You think I did that? Everybody knows you were behind that bit of freeze drive justice. The freeze gun was never found, and I'm betting you took it. I'll trade you the memory stick straight up for it. Yeah, but I'm guessing that you have no idea where this freeze gun is. Yeah, I thought so. Don't know. <laughs> so I have to get a freeze gun, huh? I wonder who'd know about that stupid freeze gun around here. Well, let's worry about that later. In the meantime, the one thing that I wanted to find out too, if we look in the inventory, we've got this thing, this broken zipline trolley. Too bad the zipline trolley is broken. It's missing a wheel. Okay. I guess the question is, is where do we come up with a wheel for it, and where do we need it? There's a wire going across there, but we can't use that. A wire's going across there. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's go on in. Uh, we need to talk. Uh, do we have to, really? Yeah, trust me, you may be involved in what happened to me. Oh, the very thought makes me giddy. 
I knew you'd be pleased to hear that. But it's all tied to items of Nikola Tesla and a man named Mason Bowers. Well, it's true. It's true I've had some very rare Tesla items in my possession from time to time, but I have uh, never heard of his uh, Mason Bowers. You know Carlos Maldonado? Well, of course I know that wretched swine. Tell me how he ties into Tesla. Maldonado tried to bribe and threaten me to reveal my source with my Tesla items, but I didn't give it to him, and I won't give it to you. Do you think Maldonado is the one watching you? I think so. Oh, my, my, my. That could be troublesome. I need to make some inquiries. Uh, is there anything else? Well, the freeze gun? The one you pawned that's supposed to belong to the Nitro Stalker? I believe it was purchased by one of those vigilante Morlock hunters. <laughs> oh, great. So that's like completely... Vigilante Morlock Hunter. Oh, goodness. Let's see if there's anything else open here. Oh, look. Rusty's fun masks are in. Is this guy a Vigilante Morlock Hunter? Stop on in and say hello. Oh Lord, we beseech thee, give us strength, courage, protection. Hail, fellow countrymen. We are ready to begin our quest. Hunting the dreadful night beast. Make haste. Sorry, Tex, we gotta run. Farewell, Sir Larry Curly and all. <laughs> I'll be sure to tell Snow White you're going to be late for breakfast. Ooh, now this place is cool. A nerdy 7th grader's paradise. Yeah, every weapon you'd ever need to be a level 85 World of Warlord chieftain. Well, yeah, this is a place that has... Well, I don't teach go-go dance at my academy. We're more respectable than that. Whoa, better tell Yogi to be on the lookout for these in Jellystone. I used to love the game of Twisty until I realized its true sinister purpose. Being a key. It's a key to a padlock. Well, that doesn't look like a freeze ray. Looks like someone has already helped themselves to the items behind the counter. The half-life of Weenie World Burgers is at least 20 years. Back in the Hayes Code days, couples had to sleep in two separate sleeping bags. Yikes. No novelty toys in here. Only real weaponry. Rubber spaghetti. Fool me once, rubber spaghetti. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Looks like someone has already helped themselves to the items behind the counter. What's this? Gross. No one's ever removed this thing since the incident? Good lord. They're LARPers. Okay. Mace is still a common tool for women's self-defense. Hmm. Looks like someone has already... Yep. That's not diet. Whoa. I feel like I just missed the fellowship before they headed off to Mordor. Did someone leave these on? Because they look like they're on. Okay. Ah, uh, poor Rusty. I knew him well. Hey, where are the fun masks? I was promised fun masks. All right, let's. Uh, now we have a padlock key. Now why'd they leave the burners on? Did someone leave these on? Because they look like they're on. Oh, yep. Yep. They're on. All right, let's. Padlocking the fridge is for extreme dieters only. All right, let's go into here. Man, I don't even know what I was trying to do. I'm trying to... Well, that's a padlock key, right? It's a padlock key. Guess I better not be too creative, because it won't work. What do you mean it won't work? I have a padlock and a padlock key. Well, 
That was stupid. Padlocking the fridge is for extreme dieters only. Padlocking the fridge is for extreme dieters only. Now why? What am I missing here? What am I missing here? This is how you do it, right? And we press the use key. I don't know what I was thinking. Alright, what am I missing? I can't combine it with anything. Because there's nothing to combine it with. Not good. Not Padlocking the fridge is for extreme dieters only. Is there another key around here I'm missing? Or another lock, I should say. Roof access. Wait a second. I remember years ago, Rusty once bragged that he had a secret panel installed in the water tower on the roof to hide his smuggled illegal novelty items. I wonder if the Morlock hunters stash their valuables there as well. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait, is that a key? This needs a key. Ah, okay, wrong lock. Okay. And the ladder fall on top of me. Meanwhile, let's check. Anything in the cans? Can't go out the back door. So it's up we go. Uh-oh. Alright, see, here's where we're gonna need. I see they put Rusty's zip line back in place. How convenient. Uh, yeah, I need a zip line trolley to place on that rope. Okay, so we have. The hell is that thing? You're not kidding. Looks like Robo Mutant Pooch or something. Okay, so in order to get to that water tower, we need to. Okay, there's no jumping. Don't use the jumpy thing. Alright, let's see what happens when I try it to use the broken trolley on there. <sighs> Maybe try something else. Guess I better not be too creative, because it won't work. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Man, I need a zipline trolley to place on that rope. Yeah, broken trolley. It's a waste of time. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so let's um. Oops. Down we go. So now I need to run around this whole town and try to find a. A wheel for a trolley. Where would I find a trolley wheel? In a bowl of stuff? No. Uh, the last one I found was like laying out there next to a dumpster. So I guess now we need to start looking around. Hmm. Sounds like there's something scary in the sewers. Alright, we just came out of there. This became a highly sought-after neighborhood post-World War III when it was found that the radiation could penetrate here? through all the lead paint. I think I've been in here already. All right. Oh, goodness. This became a highly sought-after neighborhood yeah, post-World yeah, yeah, War yeah. III when it was found that the radiation couldn't the penetrate through all the class lead Class of 2022. Paint. The Cardinals. Get this guy an agent. This guy looks like that famous actor who was in all those movies. He looks a little too young to be in here. I hope this wasn't his Christmas card. If William H. Macy were more handsome, he'd look like this. Now, if I had to guess, I would have to say that these guys are either programmers or guys that gave money to the Kickstarter campaign. But that's just my guess, so... And I'm guessing these are even more of those guys. Most likely to become an enforcer for the Mafia? Well, this must have been taken at a movie premiere. Well, hello there. Oh, I'm getting points for this. What's he doing at the Savant School? He looks like an ale-swilling, lightning-riding Norse god. Most likely to take over the world. Most likely to be ID'd when he's 30. 
Well, the shirt says Audrey Hepburn, and those legs are all Betty Grable. Oh, Most my. likely to pose in front of the leather-bound books. Hello, darkness, my old friend. All right, so let's keep getting points here. I don't know what we're going to use these points hey, for. Hey, put some clothes on. CSI, New San Francisco, starring this guy. Family isn't just a thing. It's the only thing. I was going to skip this, but... Now that's a man I'd buy speeder insurance from. Most likely to solve world hunger, class of 2021. I'll make him an offer he can't refuse. Most likely to be reincarnated as Jerry Garcia. Well, this mutant's got a little green hand coming out of his forehead. Cool. I wouldn't kill you to smile for the picture. That is easily in the top ten best mustaches I've ever seen. College shirt says business, but the daiquiri says party. Most likely to climb Mount Everest. You know, the older I get, the younger everyone else seems to look. Oh, sure. Show off that you're in Paris. Dad, are you back from the grocery store? Okay, how many more of these we got to go? Well, let's have a staring contest. One, two, three, go. A candid moment of our subject, deep in thought. A party on, dude. Mrs. Avachon? I don't recognize anyone here. I have the funniest feeling that this guy is pantsless. That's probably a good thing. Groovy. Hey, it's a better looking version of me. Most sarcastic, class of 2020. I don't trust that cat, not one bit. I've got a cat like that. I think I saw this guy in Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. I find this picture to be illogical. And a dog. Uh, most likely to be a U.S. Senator. Most likely to be first married. Most likely to win the Nobel Prize. All right, let's. Most laid back, class of 2020. Most likely to marry for money. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Uh, I wouldn't want to freak you out, but there's a huge bird on your head. You know, I was just thinking that people don't wear enough orange. Most likely to ski down Mount Everest. This picture is about as friendly as an audit by the IRS. Most likely to play guitar in an indie band. Ding, 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 ding. We have a doppelganger. Okay. I think we've got everything on this floor. Anything laying around that we may have missed? No uh, Mike and Ike uh, comics? Wait. Wait for it. There it is. It's a Mike and Ike Hammer candy comic. Hey! We got something here. We got the winner. Now, can we get back down on this thing? I don't think we can. And that's the end of the map. Okay. So we've wasted a good 10 minutes in here now. Come on. get Let me down here. Okay. Come on. Come on. A little sticky in there. Can I get out there? No, I can't. And I can't press the space button to jump because that doesn't work in this game. You just Great for the look, this Keith. became a highly sought-after neighborhood post-World War III when it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. Oh, wait, I haven't even looked at all these guys yet, have I? Oh, forgot these guys. Okay, well, let's get, get it over with. I don't know if I trust this guy. The green screen leads me to believe that they're going to Photoshop someone else in later. Hey, get a haircut, hippie. B.I. rule number 47. Never trust anyone with a monocle. Hey, that's my ex-wife's boyfriend. You know, I can appreciate any man who wears a turtleneck. I think I borrowed money from this guy once. Must be a pilot. Only pilots wear scars. What is this guy mad about? Okay. Let's get the rest of these here. Very distinguished. Definitely a physics major. Mr. Congeniality. Most likely to start an NGO. Oh, what a strong jawline you have. Most likely to start a Fortune 500 company. Whoa, that player be mean mugging me. Meow. Well, winter is coming. Now that's a nice smile. I don't know what he's looking at. He seems stern, yet fair. Someone get this guy a comb. Well, this joker might have taken submit a headshot too seriously. Yeah, don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Okay, so let's get these guys here. Most likely to be a beatnik. Must have been a class president. It's like he's looking through me. Most likely to become president? Uh-huh. Uh. John Lennon? Oh, she looks good in purple. 
most likely to become a famous actor. The key to life is not taking it seriously. He's almost too serious. Looks like someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Hmm. Captain of the football team. Nice shades. Oh, he looks great in suit. Class clown? Cl most likely to visit all seven continents. Uh, most likely to lose his keys at a Pink Floyd concert. Cutest couple, class of 2022. And that's the end of that. So, if we can't get down there, there's nothing else in here. So, that means we have finished this building. No reason to ever walk back in there again. Now, somebody find me a trolley wheel, quick. Hmm. Sounds like there's something scary in the sewers. And I'm not going in there. Wheel well car? Classic. Can't go there. Hmm. Sounds like there's something scary in the sewers. Alright, so as long as we're looking, we might as well continue to... Look, we've been in there. Can we get in there? No. These dumpsters have housed various individuals over the years. It's always nice to know I'll have a place. Good evening, ladies and gents. I'm your entertainer tonight, Mr. Franco Spinoza. I'm going to be playing some songs that I know you'll love. Let's go. Let's go. I think we did that once before, but it's always good for a second laugh. So if you haven't seen it yet, well, there it is. Yeah, the Golden Gate Hotel was so famous they named a bridge after it. These dumpsters have housed various individuals over the years. It's always nice to know I'll have a place to go if I can't make rent. All right, I've been up there before. Been around. Where am I going to find a trolley wheel? got to be see I know where I've got a good idea where I found it at but just as far as whether or not there's a second piece of it laying around that remains to be seen I think I've been up here before but let's just have another quick look because for all my searching that I did at that previous house we were at I don't think there's any way I would have missed anything there Make sure I'm looking outside, because you never know where they're going to put these things in these games. That's the one thing about why they call it an adventure game. It becomes an adventure. Sometimes a little more tedious than you want it to be. Alright, so up here... I believe we got one Mike and Ike comic up here, but I'm not seeing a, any wheels down there. Where? If I were a wheel, where would I hide? I believe I did look where I found it for a second wheel, but I never found anything. So, let's continue looking. We're just going to have to go behind all these places. Yeah, the city of old San Francisco picks up the trash once a year. I think we're getting close to our date. Uh, that's still not open. Closed. Yeah, this building's been a lemon for anyone who's tried to open a business here. Alright, this is where I, this is where Tex lives. I believe I found it down here or either. Uh, what is that? No. It looks, it looks like, like a dumpster escape unscathed. I don't see anything that looks like a wheel. No one knows these back alleys of Chandler quite like me. Okay. If that's the case, Max, or Tex, or whatever your name is, tell us where the damn wheel is! What was that? No. I'm seeing things. I have to go in and talk to the guy at the diner and say, where the heck is... No one knows these back alleys of Chandler quite like me. These dumpsters have housed various individuals over the years. It's 
It's always nice to know I'll have a place to go. Like, these dumpsters have housed various individuals over the years. It's always nice to know I'll have a place to go if I can't make rent. Can't get in there. Can I get into this building? If I can, not yet. Let's walk around to the front. through there, but do we want to go down there? It's the sewer to Chandler Avenue, and I never go in there unless I really, really have to. This became a highly sought-after neighborhood post-World War III when it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. Okay. Alright, let's uh, continue on. Can we get up no, we can't get up there. Alright, let's... Before we go into any of the shops, let's check the back alleys behind these places here. And I'll feel much better once all the back alleys have been checked. These dumpsters have housed various... I remember the day I came back to my office to that grisly sight. Alright, we've already been... I guess people are a little All apprehensive right. about taking that bottle back for deposit. These dumpsters have housed various individuals over the years. It's always nice to know I'll have a place wait, to Wait, go wait, wait, is that it? That's it. Trolley wheel. Thank goodness. All right, let's um, combine. Dear God. <laughs> zipline trolley's repaired. Now I need to find the perfect place to zipline. All right, I, I know exactly where to zipline. So let's get the hell out of here and go zipline. All right, well, I'm glad I didn't start going in and yapping at places. So, all right. In we go. Back to the back room here. Up the ladder. thing now. Ah. Is that the freeze ray gun? No way! A freeze gun? This is definitely your coolest case ever. No pun intended. With freeze guns, the puns are always intended. Are you familiar with the work of Arnold Schwarzenegger? Please have mercy. I'm afraid my condition has left me cold to your pleas of mercy. I'm gonna find a way to turn you off, I swear. You're not sending me to the cooler. Cool party? Fine, I'm done. Thank God. <laughs> Allow me to break the ice. My name is Freeze. Learn it well, for it is the chilling sound of your doom. Let's just get this thing back to Mojo. Okay, all right, I'm gonna, what's I gonna do here? I'm gonna take myself a picture. Not sure what, as long as we're up here. Be good at the city to have a look at. All right, so, indulge me this, you know? <laughs> all right, so. Dog going to bite me? Well, thank you, Deux Machina. There we go. So 
so now the dog can't come out and get me. Wait a minute, let me just, maybe just back onto that. <laughs> Look like I'm going over the damn railing off the roof there. Okay. There's nothing to grab with all that fun stuff in there. Out the door, run down the block. Nothing at the newsstand yet. Drunken robot. Let's just take a look at this in inventory quick. A freeze gun. Could it get any more geeky? <laughs> okay. We had to do that just once. You got it, didn't you? The Nitro Stopper Freeze Gun. So cool. My internet group is going to be so jealous. Listen, kid, we kind of keep this on the down low. The cops find out I gave this to you, ah, I'm probably gonna lose my life. You can count on me. And I've already forgotten what was on that memory stick. Lips are zipped. Good enough. And, by the way, that doesn't work. All right, so... Okay, there's nothing else I can ask him, then. We may only get one chance, Carlos, so I wanted to go over the plan one more time. If Margaret shows up at the Ritz, call me immediately. If I'm delayed, detain her. We have to assume she won't give up the egg voluntarily, but I want to talk to her first. You know why I've given you the cryo chamber. But that has to be the very last resort. And if anything happens to me, I'll need you to contact a friend of mine. Keep it safe until I retreat it. Well, it sounds like Mason and Margaret had a major disagreement. I need to locate both of them and get to the bottom of this. I decide to head back to my office to sort things out. Hey, hey, cowboy. cowboy. Any memories coming back yet? Not, Not so, so far, far, but something tells me I might be missing on some really good ones. That's solid detective work. So... Were we... dating? Dating? Oh, that's so cute. I guess you can call it that. But we were also working together in a more professional capacity. Well, now my detective skills are picking up a little sarcasm. Uh, seriously, cowboy. You're good. I've learned a lot working with you the past couple weeks. Mm -hmm. Let me get this straight. Uh, you and I were working on a case together. Did you mind telling me about that? Not at all. You wanted a list of tenants here at the Ritz as far back as I could go. Why would I do that? It was your dreams. They were vivid before, but they were getting out of control. It's almost like they were changing you into someone else. You talked about seeing things from the past, but you weren't giving details from incredible stress. It was like you actually believed this apartment was haunted. You even started looking into psychometry. Psycho what? Psychometry. It's the belief that an object can contain a person's energy. So, not only am I an amnesiac, but I'm a paranormal idiot. Great. <laughs> Sounds crazy, I know. But then we found out about Donnelly. Who? JT Donnelly. It was the most bizarre thing. I'd heard you mention the name in your sleep. But then, his name turned up when I checked out the previous tenants. So who is this guy? He's a private investigator. A real old school brute. He worked for some powerful, influential people. But then he disappeared around 1943. His last known address was here. San Francisco. No, here, at the Ritz in this exact apartment. 
Okay, that's a little bizarre. It gets bizarrier. You call me one night, raving like a lunatic, saying the walls were talking. I rushed over and found holes smashed in the wall, and you curled up on the floor in a ball. Well, I'm glad to hear I haven't changed that much. You wouldn't tell me what had happened. But after that, you wouldn't sleep here. That's when you got your new place and started to sleep there. Hold on. I have another place. Yes, you do. And it's eating nicer than here. This is all crazy. I think I'm going to sleep here tonight just to see whether it affects me in the same way. Do you want some company? Listen, Taylor, I'm beginning to see what the other me saw in you. In my head, it's still 2043. I've got to tell you, there was somebody else. Chelsea, I know. I know how much she meant to the text. Losing her is traumatic as hell for you. But she's gone. And there's nothing you can say or do or don't do that's gonna bring her back. I sure do. I'm alive. And that's my heart. It's yours if you want it. And it comes with all the other bits. <laughs> Alright, so I've got to go one direction or the other. Do I stay true to Chelsea? Go with Taylor? Or untrustworthy. Let's go with this one. Let's try not to commit. Well, if you know about Chelsea, then you must know about my ex, Sylvia. And Sylvia believed the way to a man's heart was right through his stern. I don't think you mentioned that. Well, it's true. And if Chelsea is really gone, then that means it's another time that I get hurt by hooking myself to a woman. So, Taylor, you are great. I'm telling you right now, it's no dice. Maybe later. Okay. And that probably wrecked my game, but... Uh... Six, Six hours, hours later, later, the rain was finally letting up. There's just too much going on here for me to do anything other than find out why my memory is lost and what happened to me over the last seven years. Someone took part of my life, and I want to find out why. Okay, and I'm going to end this here because we're getting on probably 40 minutes right now. I'm just guessing. Uh, and we'll come back and we'll find out what the heck is going on here. That was probably a bad move. I probably should have slept with her. <laughs> because the other woman probably is dead and I just did my character in here. So, all right, we'll see you in the next part. We'll see if I can't redeem myself and make some better choices next time around. Thanks for watching. Thanks.